If you were expecting Mazda's new CX-70 SUV to be bigger than the CX-50 and smaller than the CX-90, well, you're half right. We assumed the CX-70 would be similar in scope to the CX-60 the rest of the world gets, but you know what happens when you assume. While we don't have dimensions to verify the similarities Mazda is staying tight-lipped, for reasons that now seem obvious, the all-new CX-70 is, as near as we can tell, a two-row CX-90 with blacked-out trim. The CX-70 is differentiated primarily by unique front and rear bumpers, smoked chrome, and blacked-out trim. The dusky chrome looks great, the rest of the darkened trim, not so much. The door handles, which are body color on the CX-90, and the upper portion of the side window surrounds, which are chrome on higher CX-90 trims, are made of black plastic at least on the CX-70s we saw. It's the type of plastic you'd find on an entry-level Nissan Versa, the one dealers advertise for zero down and $199 per month. Ditto the bits on the new front bumper, which look like the plastic filler pieces you get when you're too cheap to pop for optional fog lights. All the above can be forgiven and forgotten once you step inside the CX-70. Here you'll find the same basic layout as in the CX-90 complete with the beautiful digital dash we love and the dial touchscreen infotainment system we don't, but with nicer trim and color choices, including a fetching black and red combo. With no third row seat, cargo space is prodigious, and if you need more, the split fold back seat can be lowered at the touch of a button. Elimination of the third row seating leaves behind a nice size hidden storage well under the removable cargo floor, although it's so far forward shorter folks might have trouble reaching it. Mazda didn't give us anything in the way of technical details, the company likes these slow drip reveals, but Mazda officials on hand during our time with the SUV did tell us the CX-70 will be available with either Mazda's 3.3-liter inline-six boosted by a mild hybrid system, or its four-cylinder based plug-in hybrid FEV powertrain featuring a 2.5-liter inline-four with an electric motor and a 17.8 kWh battery. We can't imagine these will differ much, if at all, from the powertrains in the CX-90, though we do wonder if Mazda will offer both the 280 and 340 horsepower versions of the 3.3-liter engine. We expect best performance to come courtesy of the 323 horsepower FEV, as it does in the CX-90, which hustles to 60 in 62 seconds, as opposed to 65 seconds for the 340 horsepower 6.